it's William here and we're looking at the NPN Magic Maker and we're going to do an explanation here of the entire circuit as you can see I have the device flipped upside down what we're going to do is we're going to explain this for some people that have a hard time with this I realize it could be a little bit of a challenge I have spent a great deal of my time in life working on this however nonetheless I will, because I'm a nice guy, explain this. This is your input power positive side. This connection here runs straight through this wire right here. It connects straight over to the output connection for the jewel thief. You see, there's the jewel thief here. That's the positive connection. And that just runs straight through. No other connection on that rail, on that battery at all. Next we have the power feed the negative side and this negative side comes in right here it comes along over here to this tap point because it's a common ground and this is my blue tap point on the top where I take all my measurements from it, it, it then comes from there goes into the switch up here the switch is switched it comes out of the switch comes over to here on the transistor which is the pulse coil and that is it for the positive or for the negative side. Now we have the trigger wire, which is here, the white one on the jewel thief. This is the trigger wire. This comes in direct connection from here to my base or to my um, potentiometer, my five kilo ohm pot, and from the pot it goes through the pot, which is the red wire here. It comes back in here to the white tap point right here which is from the pot it then goes from the tap point to the base of the transistor the rest of the connections you see are extremely basic what you see here now is your pulse coil right here and it goes up to the blue wire which goes out to the pulse coil of the jewel thief Next you see a tap point off of the same place as your pulse coil. This is the pulse coil flyback, the standard jewel thief tap point. Here is a yellow tap point which is on the top which is unrectified. Direct connection off the flyback. So when this pulses it also sends a pulse through here because there's nothing stopping it to do so. And, as, and when it collapses, the transistor blocks it, so it flies out here, or it flies out the rectifier. Now I have a rectifier diode, which is the rectified side of the same connection, right here. Let's zoom right in there so you can get a very, very good close look at exactly what I'm showing you. The wire comes in here. That is the pulse out to the jewel thief, up here. Um... And I color coded this and I kept it the same common on both. I simply flipped the colors for the polarity because I was working with PNP and NPN. If you look at my pictures, it plainly shows it. Just like you yourself have a left hand and you have a right hand. My device has a left hand and my device has a right hand. Very, very, very much similar to a human itself. Nonetheless, rectified, or sorry, unrectified, rectified pulse flyback that is what I call it and that comes right off of here you can see I have only the three connections on my transistor I have the power wire coming in to my transistor I have the pulse wire going out and I have the base wire coming in that's it there is there is no magic to this circuit it is simply all there is to it for the ones that do not understand, I just, I cannot grasp it. You have not built it, so therefore you have now no liberty to talk about it. What more can I say? Pulse coil, rectified, flyback. Pulse coil, unrectified, flyback. Common, ground. Base coil, unrectified, flyback. Negative input lead. Positive input lead. Let's flip the device over here. This is this is common ground or positive for the NPN side. This is base, which goes into the five kilo ohm potentiometer, right here. 
This is false coil. That's it. There is no magic. There is nothing fancy, nothing special, period. That's the circuit. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.